Welcome back, people, my people, to Best Aussie Boost News Reviews. Now, I could not bring myself to throw away that Moe et Chandon Imperial, mainly because it was a gift from much loved friends. But you may well be placed in that situation where you're gifted something that you're not particularly wild about and you can't, in all honesty, tip it down the sink and say, Oh, look, I loved it. Okay? So, this is a champagne sangria. And it's a sangria because sangria is Spanish for blood. And to have a true sangria, unless you're not um, a Scottish lobster, it has to be red. Everything else but lobsters has red blood. Lobsters have blue blood because of a whole lot of chemistry that my wife can explain to you. Okay, so this is a very, very simple, very, very quick champagne sangria to use up the brut or the dry reds that you really don't want to go drinking. Uh, I certainly found the brut imperial undrinkable and that more likely enables me in some eyes as a uneducated philistine. Well, I beg to differ. I just don't like brut wine. So this is the simplest recipe that we can come up with. It's you whack in your, your mulled fruit, you stump, you, you know, you stump your fruit up. Mine happened to be frozen at the time. You add your wine, red wine on top, which is going to make this drinkable. Then you add your undrinkable uh, champagne on top. And I am drinking the last of the undrinkable, which proves that my liver is up to the task. Look, that's now about 10 minutes old. And the best thing I can say is that I should have added more red wine to it. I still don't like champagne. I know. You're all disappointed in me. Either way, it's a great way of using up those um, sparkling drinks that you've got in the house. And I really should go out and try and a nice spew man as you go knocking over. Thank you for watching, subscribing and becoming a member, people my people.